Christmas. All right, Merry Christmas to you and to to everybody in here. Yeah, uh, pretty much it's gonna be with the family. You know, Santa Claus came to town, so go around and give the Christmas presents. Or give them, give them, a, give them up now. So go do that. And that's gonna be a pretty big thing. Everybody's waiting for that. So everybody's waiting for Santa Claus to come tonight. I guess I didn't think about it until honestly you said something now. Like it's it's something that well for sure. I think I think that like that's something little that you take for granted. You know, I get to do it. everybody's here. Um that's just a little thing that uh is honestly a really big thing and a lot of these players uh are gonna be missing their families if they're not here. So I uh, I guess I did take that for granted. So I'm I'm excited that I do get to to have the opportunity to be with my family. Is there pressure on Santa Phil to come through? Nah, I mean, I, I do a pretty good job of getting the presents around. So uh, hopefully they like them this year. Marcus uh, said uh, earlier this year that he had uh, better hair than you yeah. and all this other stuff. You, you, I know you saw it. So uh, does he get cold? Uh, Marcus, Marcus stays getting cold. I'll tell you that right now. But, uh, nah, you know, I, I'm going to let it slide this time. I got a good gift for him this year, so I think that he'll, he'll really like it. So, he, you know, he'll be on set as Naughty List next year, though, for sure. <laughs> So you're closing in on a thousand yards. Yeah. It's special to do back to back years. Uh, yeah, it's, it's special. It is special. Uh, but the the biggest thing, and I think the more special about that is, uh, I see a team that's coming together, that is building off of something that's going to be great for next year. And uh, it starts with the quarterback. I think Drew Drew's doing a great job, and you guys are starting to see uh, glimpses of what he can do once he he c continues to, to get in the groove. Uh, really works with uh, Rich in the off season, and you're gonna see somebody that comes back a lot a lot more confident, and it's gonna be able to make plays for us. I see an offensive line that. Uh, is like you said, is is a younger offensive line that understands what they need to do better, and mainly that's just uh, firing out and getting to the next level, which uh, it takes time, and and they're doing a great job now. You're starting to see that come together, and then uh, you got um, uh, Royce and I that are, you know, young young backs as well that are learning how to press holes and and doing that. So I think overall, other than just a thousand yards, I'm excited about the team and what's to come. We have a great defense and we have a great defensive mind coach as our head coach. So, uh, you know, you never can really worry about them. You got to worry about ourselves and putting points up to help them out. What you were six and nine a year ago. It's yeah. Spot, it just feels different. Is it the the camaraderie you've talked about the importance of what is different this year? Yeah, I mean, you just, you see, like you said, you're seeing something that this year has been a tough year anyway because there's a lot of games that we could have or should have won, you know, and that's the difference. Last year, you know, you're hoping for wins. This year, we had them and we let them go. And that just, it shows the growth from last year to this year and it shows the growth from this year to next year. And next year, you'll see us be able to finish more. Uh, a lot of us will be on our third year, fourth fourth year, and that's really big. You know, uh, they said something about usually your third year, uh, players usually have great years their third year, and there's a bunch of us. So hopefully that stays true and we go in there and we handle our business. The Raiders are still clinging to like their playoff hopes. Exactly. Is there some extra motivation here to knock them out and just put them away for good? I mean, there's motivation anyway. Anytime that you play the Raiders, you know, that, that is a rival game. Second of all, we lost to them when, they, when we went there. Now it's time for them to come to us. And if they think they're going to come here and try to clinch, clinch a playoff, you know, they got something coming because we're here to win the game. And that's what it is. We're here to, to end our season on a, a right note for next year. They want to try to get to a playoff game. So it's going to be a battle. Uh, you could say this is like a little playoff game because for them, because if they think they're going to come in here and just get one, you know, they, they're they sadly mistaken. Phil, you know Jake Rogers' story? I mean, he gets a game ball, actually. He yeah, yeah. He has. Yeah, yeah. They actually um, – you know, we talked about it in there. He 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 was uh, in a situation, I guess, when Coach Rich was with uh, Atlanta, and they they drafted him there, and he was like on a, I want to say what was it, trimesters or something like that, where where he wasn't able to come in right away, and that really uh, messed him up because he he didn't have that time to be with the team, and they ended up cutting him, so it's been rough for him. But you know, he's been a positive dude this whole time, you know, and he finally got his opportunity to go out there and play. I think this was his first football game ever. And uh, in the NFL, uh, starting wise, and he went out there and he did a great job. He was out there uh, physical. He was getting to the to the second second uh, 
uh, defense, which with the linebackers, which is when, when you have a, a lineman that can do that, it's a running back's job is easier. So he's doing a great job, especially he having to sit the whole year and then just go get thrown in there. And that just will show you that mentally he was prepared. All right. Thanks, All right. All right, y'all.